Hello everyone, thank you so much for stopping by my channel. This is Simply Kiwi. Today I'm coming in today with a new video. It is the veil technique and um, it's not new, it's new to me, but I wanted to try it and see how well it works. And I have the polishes that I'm using today laid out for you. Uh, this first one here is of course Everglaze and that's going to be my base color and this is called Optimal Opal the next one here is Funky Fingers it's a glitter um, polish with some holographic glitters in there and it is called Unicorn Dust this next one is also Everglaze I couldn't get the sticker off so um, it's still on there, but this is the Everglaze Polish. And it is called Royal Satin. And I'm also going to be using some rhinestones. And they are right here. Those little square rhinestones. And of course, I seal it with a quick drying top coat, which is Seshvit. So let me show you my right hand. Again, my base color is with two coats. And then I use the darker color as my veil on top. And then the rhinestones. But of course, on top of my two coats of the base color, I did put the unicorn dust, which is a glitter. But you know I like a little bling to, or a little added flair to my manicures. So let me show you what I'm going to do. This requires you to have water as if you're doing water marbling. <clears throat> Excuse me. And I'm going to take the royal satin and I'm going to place this in the water. Just a drop. and let it spread on its own. With this uh, technique, uh, you can use uh, two wood sticks dampened or um, I'm going to be using a, um, a dotting tool and then also a needle. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to blow on it for a little bit to get a little bit dry and then you're going to take the two utensils that you're using you're going to press it towards the middle pinch it together and sometimes it could be too wet uh, maybe I can get this one to pass through yeah. Yes. Good. So what I'm going to do is I've got two fingers reserved here just to do this, um, just, just to show you what I'm going to do. So I'm going to use my uh, ring finger and I am going to place my finger where I want to place the veil and I'm going to dip into the water and bring it back out. And there you go, there's the veil. So now I'm going to pat it just to make sure it lays flat. It's not perfect on this one, but this is just to show you how to do it. Um, and I'm going to get a paper towel to kind of soak up some of that water. Just graze it across the top in the bottom just to get that extra water and I'm going to get an orange wood stick and I'm going to dampen that in some acetone and I'm just going to lightly pull that extra polish off around the edges
just to get that cleaned off. I've got an extra paper towel over here to clean it off. And then I'm going to take my orange wood stick, dip it in some water. I'm going to get my rhinestone. First I'm going to use my Broadway clear top coat. <clears throat> place that in the middle so I can adhere that rhinestone to. I'm trying to get this rhinestone to turn the right way so I can place it on here. There we go. And I'm just going to press, press it down like it's a diamond and let that sit and then we can go on to the next nail and we're going to do this again with the royal satin and just a little drop and we're going to let it spread and go ahead and get my utensils ready and I'm going to blow on it get it kind of dry and we'll try to squeeze it together and pinch it I think this is going to be a, this is going to be a fail <laughs> let's try it again Excuse me. And I'm going to blow on it again. Let's see if I can pinch it again together. Pull it apart. Uh, there's another one bites the dust. It's always a trial and error with this. Let's spread it out a little bit. Maybe that's why it's, it's too much polish in one center. And blow it again. Hopefully this won't be a fail. Ah, uh, yep, this was a fail too. Clean off my utensils a little bit. There might be another issue because I might have too much polish on the ends of them. So cleaning those off. <clears throat> All right, let's try this again. And I might just be putting too much polish down. That might be my issue. Testing it to see if it's too wet. Let me get it around here a little bit. Okay, let me try it again. Looks like 
I'm getting to the last one and it just doesn't want to act right. Come on. There we go. Now I'm going to do the same thing. Position my finger. And so we can get that in the position. And I'm going to dip. And then pull it back out. And there's the veil. So I'm going to go ahead and pat down on that. And then take my paper towel and get the excess water from around it. Take my orange stick and dip it in acetone. So I can get pull the polish from my off the excess polish off. And because it's already pretty much dry when you take it out, um, you don't really need any liquid latex because it comes right off, as you can see. Then again, I'm going to go in with my clear top coat and my dampened orange stick so I can get my rhinestone. place it in the middle and then I'm going to seal it off with sesh feet and of course put a generous amount and go slowly so you can get around that rhinestone so it can get sealed in really good And it turned out pretty good, I should say, for it being my first attempt at the veil technique. And just you guys let me know what you think of this manicure as well. I'll have everything that I've used today in the description box. And also, if you have any questions or comments, please place them also in the comment section. Again, thank you so much for watching. You all be blessed. Until next time.